It is time. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time that we finally take the valve covers off and see what carnage lays underneath. Is it just a loose rocker? Is it broken valve spring? Or do I have to take off the heads and see if my lifters have collapsed? Quick update. A week ago on Sunday, I pulled both my cars out. I pulled the Corvette out and I pulled the Maserati out. I've been driving the Maserati as the daily and then I've driven the Corvette about three to four times. Then I took it to work on Tuesday to do tires and an oil change because it really needed an oil change and the tires were so bald and old, they were showing cords, they just, they were done. They had to be replaced. During the oil change, I grabbed a sample of the oil because it looked a little shiny and when I put my flashlight in it, it was quite metallic. Put the tires on, finished the oil change, then after work, I drove it home and as I was backing into the garage, I could hear a pretty good tick going. So fingers are crossed that it's nothing super catastrophic uh, so I don't have to do a whole engine rebuild or anything. I'm hoping that it's just a rocker arm or something valve train wise that is loose. But if it ends up being a lifter and then I'm gonna have to pull the heads off and I'm hoping that if it ends up being that route that I caught it so soon enough that the cam is not at all damaged or anything so I don't have to replace that and it'll be all fine because when I drove it and parked it, it drove fine, it idled fine, it was loping like normal. So today we're just gonna take the valve covers off and dive a little bit deeper into what we did in our last video of seeing what exactly is going on with my car when I'm listening to it at idle and increase the RPM just a little bit. It sounds like it's coming from this side of my engine more so than the other side. So we're gonna start by taking both the valve covers off, checking the rock arms, checking the valve springs, seeing if they're loose, seeing if there's any play in my push rods, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's go ahead and get started and take the valve covers off of both sides. Driver's side, just like last time, loosen this bolt up here so we can pull the coil packs off a lot easier. We'll take this um, nitrous fuel solenoid out of the way to over here so we can kind of get a little bit more access, take the spark plug boots off, then remove the valve cover, and then possibly we'll probably take out the spark plugs too so we can get a look at them, make sure there's nothing like cracked with that. So there's no diving too far into it without checking those, making sure they're not cracked or anything. And then for the passenger side, same thing kind of applies here. Let's remove the nitrous solenoids here, just move them out of the way. I'm not gonna disconnect any of the lines or anything. We'll deal with that later. Then same thing, spark plug boots here, then a handful of bolts, bracket comes off, and valve cover's exposed. Pretty straightforward, we're gonna go ahead and get started. About the time lapse commence now. <laughs> Driver's side valve cover off. You can see all the rocker arms there. And this is the easier side. So on that side, it'd be a little bit more complicated. So if we go over there, it's just a lot of a lot tighter of a fit. Those nitrous solenoids kind of cut across the valve cover like that. So it'll just be a little bit more of awkward. So to save some time here, let's go ahead and and just like that, we have the valve cover off. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check each individual rocker, check for looseness. Then I'm gonna grab each individual spring, check for any looseness in the spring, any looseness of the push rods on both sides, and see if there's any kind of play. If those are all tight, then what I'm gonna have to do off camera, because I'm home by myself, is take the fuel pump fuse relay out, have someone crank it so there's no fuel going into it so that I can watch the rockers individually move, and see if there's a lifter that's collapsed, because if there's one that's collapsed, it won't move the rocker arm. So let's go ahead and check all this stuff first and then we're gonna have to wait for someone else to be here to crank it over while I watch if that's what it ends up coming to. All right, I went ahead and did a walk around around both sides of the car, checked eat, like any play in between the rocker arms. I grabbed the springs, I moved around so there's any play there. And I tried to lift up and down on the push rods to see if there's any slack or any play in them. They all seem pretty tight. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some research on it and see how much play is allowed side to side of the rocker when they're torqued down. And then 
I think in a little bit I'm gonna to have to take the rocker arms off and then check the actual valve springs themselves and see if I see anything. Welcome back, it's a new day, it's a glorious day. Well, it's actually kind of cold, but so I'm gonna run and go pick something up for the Corvette because Thursday I went and picked something up for the Corvette that I've been waiting for about two and a half years. I've been trying to find the right one for the right price and I was finally able to do it. So I got to run to Woodbury, Minnesota. It's about a 40 minute drive just to pick this thing up. So we're gonna go along and go get them. First, I need a little bit of coffee. I'm kind of tired. So we're gonna go get a frappe. And then two, we have to pay for it. So I gotta go pull money out of the ATM, go meet the guy and pick these up. All right, so we got an update. As you can see, there's no more rockers on the car itself. So, did a little bit of work off camera and I'm pretty sure I figured out the problem. So, when I was checking for some sort of lifter issue, seeing if the rockers were moving up and down, if there was a collapsed lifter and it wasn't moving, I didn't find anything. So, me and my buddy took the rocker arms themselves off and what I found, where is it, is on a rocker arm, the actual rocker arm itself was rubbing on a valve cover spacer and it took quite a bit of metal off of it, right there. So if I show you the actual valve cover spacer, this one, yeah, there it is. You can see the chunk of metal that it took out. It doesn't look super big, but over the couple miles I've put on it, that's a decent amount of metal that I took out and put into my oil. So there, I'm pretty sure is the problem. So I'm gonna order a new set of rocker arms. I'm gonna get OEM ones with a different bearing upgrade so it can handle the high lift of the cam and has a little bit more clearance for the actual valve cover itself. So we hope we don't run into this issue again. We're gonna go pick these up in the Maserati. So I think we need a little bit of a cold start. We're gonna let the car warm up a minute before we go. And the other day, I actually took this car out to a family dinner, and we just hit 62,500 miles. This car has been basically flawless for the last 21,000 miles that I've owned and driven this car. And on Wednesday, we're actually gonna be driving it all the way down to Des Moines, Iowa, and back. So that's about three and a half hour drive each way. So hopefully we don't have any issues for that. I can see my GoPro battery is a little bit low because I've been filming a lot of stuff here. So I'm gonna make this trip as quick as I can for you guys and for myself. So not a whole lot of videoing will be going on, but we will get some videos of the car driving, getting my drink, getting the t and picking the stuff up for the vet. Uh, no, I am not. Okay, what can I get today? Can I just get a medium mocha frappe? Okay. And that would be it. Thanks, you too. God, it's such a good sound. But, got the drink. Not at all healthy, but it tastes really good. So, whatever. We're gonna go get the cash and then go pick up the thing for the Corvette.
right, we got what we came for. We're gonna do that in a later video where we discuss the build for the Corvette. Give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek here. Just uh, that's all you're gonna get. So later video, talk about the build. It's gonna be absolutely insane. It's gonna look so good. Been waiting for this for about two and a half years. A lot of patience, a lot of wheeling and dealing with people to find the right thing that I wanted for the Corvette. So not gonna go into too much detail there. All right, without going into too much detail, we got what we needed for the Corvette. So in a later video, I'm gonna go ahead and announce my plan for it, what I got today, what I got on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. Today has been a great day. We figured out what was going on with the Corvette, what needs to be replaced. Hopefully when I replace that, there's no other surprises or anything. We got the stuff for it that I've been kind of keeping a secret from you guys. And then we got to go on a little road trip with the Maserati. Stay tuned for a later video on the whole build I have going on for the Corvettes. Please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, let me know on anything you guys want to see. If there's anything specific you want to see with the Maserati or anything specific you want to see with the Corvette, please let me know in the comments below. And just like that, this video is over and I'm out.